first thing is the pan stero. You do a basic setup, just basic. Okay. Don't stress. I am a nurse. I am a Periop 101 nurse in training. Sarah was on the floor. She's been a floor nurse for eight years, and she wanted to come to the operating room. The education department said, would I be interested in training Sarah with no experience, no classroom work, directly from day one with me? So do your incision on a computer. I said, absolutely. This is the way I was taught in Scotland. She's my mentor. If there's something I'm second guessing about myself or what I'm doing, she's always going to be there for me to ask her. We have a lot of paperwork to do, but the patient comes first. Colleen, open your eyes. It's all over. Can you squeeze my hand? We're only one month in. She does see 10 hour shifts with me in the operating room. The other two days, she would be studying modules. She followed the EORN perioperative program. This is a good way to learn because you watch it, you read it, you're learning about it, and then you're actually doing it. Make sure the bed is under, because these... Every time she touches a patient or touches equipment, I will always give the reason of why. That's exactly what happens. Remember, the patient's asleep. She has to know why. One, two, three blades. This is definitely a more efficient way to train people. I think financially, it's a great benefit to the hospital. And it's a win for our patients. You feeling nervous? The patients are getting dedicated nurses that are being trained by dedicated nurses. We're going to take good care of you. Most recently, she started scrubbing. Be gentle. That has been a huge stress on her. All the way up to your elbow. Scrubbing is completely different for me. The other side is for your other hand. You need to be two steps ahead. You have to have confidence in yourself that this is something you can do and you're willing to learn it. That's nice, Sarah. What we decided was Sarah would do a bunch of different things to get her out of the operating room environment. We put her with a nurse anaesthetist for the day. I always want to see the IV yep. when I'm inducing a patient. I was in central processing for a full day. I learned how they package all of the equipment to be sterilized how they wrap it. Let's see how he's doing. So William, we're going to start from the top, OK? Yep. In the holding area, I was able to see how a patient is brought into the room and how they go over everything that they're going to need to be prepped for the OR. You're going to need some insulin this morning. Good luck with surgery, Bill. Thank you. If you need to put a patient on call. I'm learning everything. And then they'll show up on the. Yep. What will make Sarah a successful nurse is learning everyone's role. The nurse effect is the whole patient care. Hey, Bumpy. From the moment that patient walks in through our doors, we take care of them. Some warm blankets. The That's nurse effect for me up. is delivering that care. Thank you. Sarah's training has been completed now seven months. She now is operating independently in a scrub and circulating room. Oh. It takes an entire village of people to train one person. Mark, we really need a bed ASAP if you've got one. Don't assume someone's doing something. I think I've learned to communicate better with my peers, with doctors. X-rays are up and available. And I've kind of learned to advocate for myself. Now our hospital has a homegrown nurse with great qualities that you can't always teach outside candidates that. She knows the system, she knows the hospital. That's invaluable. Mentoring is a great way to learn. You learn through someone who's been through it all. This is like your last safety check. It can work in absolutely any department within the hospital. It's an amazing feeling to see your student now performing independently of you and growing. What do you notice? It's just you and me today. You and me, we yeah. are peers. I am a nurse and I am a mentor. I'm a nurse and thanks to Angela, I am now a peri-op nurse. Thank you.